GTA Online has 99 different weapons to choose from, and today on the show we are breaking down the top 10 best weapons in the game, followed by a few honorable mentions that I think you will all enjoy. We'll be breaking down weapon damage values, TTK, DPS, fire rate, damage range, accuracy, and other stats, basically discussing why these are some of the top weapons and best guns you'll want to make sure you're using, whether or not you're a new player or even a player who's just looking to change things up with their loadout. There's so much content in GTA Online, which means there's also tons of different Different styles of playing GTA and these weapons will give you the most choice and value in that regard. So if you enjoyed this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar Games, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Starting off with the best assault rifle in GTA Online, we have the Special Carbine Mark II. The Special Carbine Mark II holds a special place in everyone's hearts of all GTA players, and nearly everyone in the game carries one around as their primary go-to assault rifle. The Mark II variant of the Special Carbine is an undoubtedly powerful weapon that has a fire rate of 540 rounds per minute and can rip anything to shreds in the game. With very controllable recoil, close shot grouping, and a decently sized magazine, the Special Carbine Mark II is just about everything one could ask for from a weapon weapon in GTA. It boasts a PvP damage of 32.5 damage and a free mode damage of 23, giving it a DPS value of 292 and 207 respectively. Its lock-on range extends to 65 meters, and you'll have an optimal range with this weapon under 47.5 meters, and it also has a max range of 120 meters. The TTK with the Special Carbine Mark II is 1.3 seconds against full health and armor players, making the Special Carbine Mark II the second fastest TTK assault rifle in GTA Online. After that, for the best shotgun, we have the Assault Shotgun. This is an absolute wrecking ball that can wreak havoc both indoors and outdoors in GTA. This gun deals solid amounts of damage with each shot dealing between 32 damage for PvP and 23 damage for free mode, but what makes it so unique is its fast, fast fire rate. This gun can rattle off rounds like no one's business and annihilate everything that stands in its way, with its fire rate being 255 rounds per minute. This high fire rate combined with its above average damage count makes it one of the best weapons in game for clearing out large groups of enemies or players. The only drawback here is its slightly wider pellet spread when compared to other shotguns in the game, so it's best to try and use this weapon in close quarters situations if you can, so you're firing it within its optimal range. The lock-on range for the assault shotgun is 35 meters, which is the same for the majority of shotguns shotguns in the game, and within its optimal range of 5 to 40 meters, you'll find the PvP DPS of 816 and its free mode DPS being 586, and that's one of the best things about this weapon, is its damage per second. For the Sniper class, we have the Heavy Sniper Mark II. The Heavy Sniper Mark II makes a great case for itself as the best sniper rifle in GTA, and it's perfect for players who prefer a versatile sniper for stealthy and also cautious approaches, or aggressive sidestepping rushing. The Heavy Sniper deals 230 damage in PvP and 165 damage in free mode, with a rate of fire being 60 rounds per minute. Its optimal range falls within 1500 meters, and after that the bullets will not register on your target, but the main advantage of the Heavy Sniper Mark II is the ability to load explosive rounds into the chamber that allow you to take down helicopters and other aggressive aircraft so you don't take as much damage and die as much on missions. It's also a great tool for fighting back against aircraft griefers, or just surviving aerial attack encounters while you're on foot in GTA. After that, for the pistol category, we have the AP Pistol. This pistol deals a base damage of 25 in PvP and 20 in free mode, while its fire rate eclipses 615 rounds per minute, making the DPS 256 in PvP and 184 damage in free mode. Speaking of time to kill, the AP Pistol has a very fast 1.463 second TTK against fully armored players within its optimal range of less than 30 meters, where the damage then starts to drop off slightly and the AP Pistol reaches its maximum damage range of 120 meters, which is the same for all pistols as well. The AP Pistol's maximum lock-on range is also 65 meters here. Moving on to the SMG category, we have the SMG Mark II. This is a really powerful SMG that has a base damage of 25 and a free mode damage value of 18. This SMG also possesses an ultra-high 470 round per minute fire rate, giving this weapon a DPS value of 195 in PvP with a 141 DPS in free mode. You're looking at just a 1.9 second TTK on players and enemies in GTA Free Roam, and the only SMG that edges out the 
SMG Mark II and TTK and DPS are both the combat PDW, but the problem with that weapon is it's slightly higher recoil and the slightly lower accuracy and also the lower fire rate here. The advantage that the PDW has over the SMG Mark II though is it does have a 100 round capacity magazine, so over time it may perform better in certain situations if you're the type of player who finds themselves dumping ammo down range as well. Both of these SMGs though have an optimal range of less than 40 meters with respective damage drop-offs at ranges between 40 and 120 meters and both have a lock-on range of 55 meters. Moving on after that we have the LMG category and we have the Combat LMG Mark II. This Combat LMG hits so hard it's actually ridiculous. It has a base damage of 47 in PvP and a free mode damage of 33. With a fire rate of 515 rounds per minute, this Combat MG Mark II gives you a DPS value of 403 in PvP and a value of 283 DPS in free mode against other players or enemies. And the best thing about this LMG is it's insanely fast and quick TTK, with you being able to take down fully armored level 120 players and enemies in just 0.93 seconds in free mode. The range is also fantastic on here too for a very powerful LMG. Rockstar typically tries to balance weapons in this game by making at least one stat noticeably worse than the rest, but this LMG has no exceptions. Your optimal range with this Combat MG Mark II is in gunfights less than 47.5 meters away, and the damage starts to drop off between 47.5 and 120 meters, with a max lock on a range of 65 meters, outclassing some of other weapons on this list here today. In terms of heavy weapons, we have both the RPG and the minigun. Obviously, you're going to want an RPG just because of the amazing blast radius and explosive damage, but also its reload speed and overall portability while you run around. There's no speed penalty or character penalty for movement when using this heavy weapon, unlike others in GTA. And if you're looking for another heavy weapon that isn't a rocket launcher, look no further than the minigun. You can fire over 3,000 rounds per minute while dealing a damage per shot of over 30 in PvP and 21 in free mode, giving this minigun a mind-boggling DPS of 1,500 in PvP and a DPS of 1,050 in free mode. That factored in with its optimal range of 0 to 57 meters and its damage drop-off occurring between 57 and 120 meters, you're also looking at a heavy weapon with an exceptional max lock-on range of 80 meters, giving this weapon an optimal range TTK in just 0.26 seconds against fully armored players. Now, if the RPG and the minigun don't really suit your taste, you can also check out the standard grenade launcher here in-game because it also has an RPG blast radius. You can fire it and direct impact enemies speeding up the process before that explosive shell actually blows up in their face and that weapon's also really fun to use here and it's something i would recommend in the heavy class Finally, we have the Revolver category, and we also are going to be talking about the Heavy Revolver Mark II. I'll be honest, on paper and both in gameplay, this thing looks like an absolute beast, but it is very hard to use if you're just going with free aim and you don't have assisted aim. You know, a normal AP pistol may suit you better if you're in free aim, but other sidearms will also do you just fine. Overall, though, the Heavy Revolver Mark II deals 200 base damage and 144 damage in free mode with a fire rate of 50 rounds per minute, giving the Heavy Revolver Mark II a DPS value of 166 and 120 in free mode. You'll find the best range with this weapon is below 20 meters, but you can also fire up to 120 meters at a long range, and if you still hit your shots, you'll be good to go. Its max lock-on range is 55 meters, and this weapon boasts a TTK of 1.2 seconds, which is a little bit slower than most weapons listed here today, but if you hit headshots, you'll deal 3,600 damage to the head, so that's a pretty neat detail to know, because if you can get your headshots down, you are going to be good to go with this weapon. So with all that said, those are the top eight best weapons that you need to purchase and use right now in GTA Online. What are some of your favorite weapons to use? I'm curious to know if you use any of the ones listed here today. I try to incorporate all necessary and important combat details like damage between PvP and free mode, range, fire rate, touched a little bit on accuracy and more so you get a good gauge of if a certain weapon is right for you or not. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, Instagram. Those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask many questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.